have a couple hours where the girls are at school and Jason's taking baby O to the gym, so I'm trying to use these couple hours to get at least one script written for Tic Tac Toy for a toy school video because I'd like to film one tomorrow. I have three kind of rough ideas in my head. Um, two were given to me by a friend and one I just came up with a couple days ago. And I'm just trying to take these kind of loose ideas and develop them into like the big plot with all the um, details and the funny lines. So that's kind of the hard part. And I'm hoping I can get these, um, at least one, I should say, at least one script done in this next hour. So I thought I had the house to myself and peace and quiet. But apparently Sandy decided she needs to come in and bother me. Sandy, I've tried to work. I guess maybe some neglected to get her. All right. Okay. I'll come feed you. I'll come feed you. Okay. Okay. Yeah. All right. Little break time. Then back. Okay. Sandy. Sandy, are you gonna leave me alone now? Are you gonna leave me alone now? I hope she will. I found for whatever reason that I often tend to write the scripts best and the ideas tend to come to me quickest when I am sitting in the room that we actually film in. So I don't know what it is about just being in the room, maybe the inspiration, seeing it all around me. It just gives me something to work with and my mind seems to um, work a little bit better. Plus I think when I'm downstairs or in any other room in the house, I get distracted by the dishes that need to be washed or maybe the beds need to be made or I see the floors are dirty or clothes need to be folded. So if I'm up here, I'm kind of away from all the distractions and I'm able to focus. I'm actually really excited for the video that I'm writing right now that hopefully we're gonna be filming tomorrow because in this video, it's gonna be a toy school video, but we're going to have the toy doctor in it with Miss Lucy, the toy school teacher, and they're both going to be in the screen at the same time. So you'll see them side by side. And so this is obviously an editing trick. I'm excited to see what the end result's gonna be. So you'll have to watch for this video with the toy doctor and Miss Lucy in it at the same time. It's gonna be kind of fun. And I finished, woohoo! One script done. Look at the target dot changed to mama. I saw that. I realize it's like three or four days until Easter and we have not gotten Easter outfits for anyone. So I'm running to Target and hoping that I can find something for all the kids here that'll work. What do you think about any of those for baby O, Maya? Um, I like um, this green one and then that hat. Yeah, this is kind of cute. I like it too. Is this the hat you liked, Maya? Yeah, that's it. <laughs> I think it works, baby O. <laughs> what do you think? I like it. Think it looks cute in that? I think it'll look cute in that too. You like that shirt too? Yeah. A little kindness can, what does it say? Can change everything. I like it too, and it's a good message. Let's get it. All right, we got BBO done really quickly. Now I gotta get Addie and Maya done quickly. I don't know how long I'll have. Anytime I have BBO with me and try to shop, it could be a disaster, so we gotta move quickly. What'd you find, Maya? This. Is that gonna be your Easter dress, you think? Yeah. You think so? Yeah. <laughs> but can I get you to wear dress up, dress up shoes with it? You think so? Mine doesn't usually like dress up shoes, but you'll wear them for me? Mm, maybe. Maybe. All right, O's getting fussy. So we gotta throw it in the cart and go. Throw it in the cart, we gotta move quick. Run, let's go to Addie's section. Bunny rabbit Maya. Did you turn into a bunny? Is that what bunny rabbits do? Right, I'm having trouble finding dresses that I feel like are like fancy enough for Easter for Addie's age. Hmm, this kind of looks like something Addie would like. Maya, what do you think? Will Addie like that? Yeah. In the cart? Got one of these little sweaters too. Okay, now I'm gonna check out the hair accessories, maybe headbands or bows. See what would go with their outfit. I could just some simple white little flowers for their hair might do the trick. I like this. What about the flowers? You like these? Not really. You want that? Let me see. Look like you have bunny ears on. <laughs> Is that what you want? Look. All right, I like the look, Maya. What size are you, Maya? Um, my size is 12. All right, what do you feel like, Maya? Lots of choices here. Mm -hmm. How about these ones? These ones look like they'd fit you. Take these on for me. I don't really like these. Okay, why don't you find a pair you like then? 
shoe shopping with Maya can be absolutely exhausting. We've been here and probably tried on Twitty shoes before. She is one picky child when it comes to shoes. And boots. And boots are only gonna go with your Easter dress, probably. Let's see if we can find some dress up shoes. Plus it's getting hot outside. What about these, Maya? These are cute. Ooh, these are cute, Maya. They're pink and pretty. You wanna try those on? All right, let's get those out and try them on your feet. And if they're a little too big, you can try a smaller size on too. All right, those work, Maya. Do you like them? Mm. Uh, I don't know. You don't know? I think they're awfully cute. Should we throw them in the cart and go? Because O is not going to last much longer. <laughs> All right, bud, we got to go. What do you think? Yeah. Yeah, you're going to get them? You're going to wear them on Easter? Yeah. You sure? We're not buying them for nothing. Mm -hmm. All right, shoes done. I think Baby O and Addie already have shoes at home that can work, so I think we're done. I think I got all the Easter clothes done for the kids in 15 minutes. I'm pretty impressed with myself right now. <laughs> so I heard a lot of giggles and laughter up here. What are you guys up to? Mm -hmm. And pet daycare. And pet daycare. Yes, so we pretend that the pets could, t our, all of our stuffed animals are pets, and um, they could talk, and then we could talk back to them, and we understand them, and then um, we teach them stuff in this pet school. Wow. I have an addition machine. You and, do. And this is my multiplication one, so I am pretending that the addition one is a new one. These have, must be some very smart pets if they know addition and multiplication. These are actually our, com our keyboards for our computers. Oh, I see. All right, it's time for you to take a shower or a bath. Pet daycare and pet school have been the girls' like favorite game lately. Every time they get a chance, they run upstairs, they pull out their stuffed animals, and they usually have them all lined up, and it's the big pet daycare, pet school. I'll walk in, and they're teaching them all sorts of like crazy cute stuff. It's lots of fun to watch. Here, I'll just type. I don't, I'm gonna stay out of this. I'm gonna walk away. Typing, typing, typing. Hey, Addie, Maya. We got some packages from Mattel, the toy company. Do you want to come downstairs and see what's inside? <laughs> I want to get this one. So it looks like we have a sweet sounds bunny in here. Ooh, this is, I don't know if I'm pronouncing this right, Meckard? <gasps> oh my goodness. <laughs> Do you remember when you were at Toy Fair Addy and yeah. you played this Meckard game with the Toy Fair attendant at Mattel for like an hour? Yeah. <laughs> we went to the Toy Fair a couple months ago and we loved the Mattel booth. And there was one particular toy, this Meckard, I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing that right, but Addy loved it. And there was this someone who was working at the little booth with the Meckard thing and she played with it over and over and over and over again. And so I'm so excited that they sent us one that she can play with at home. So you take a card, put it wherever you're gonna do it, then you roll the card over the card like this. Wow, and it transforms and it's holding the card uh -huh. and I think that is pretty crazy. So you look at this little red thing okay. or, or whatever color it is and then on um, whichever part's touching it and it's red, that's how many points you get. So I got 80 points. All right, let's see how many points Maya gets with her car. Oops. Whoops. <laughs> wow, that one popped up pretty neat too. Yeah. So, so she has a red yeah. little marker. And then she had Oh, so 80 she got points. 80 points too, because hers mm -hmm. leaned on the 80. Mm -hmm. We're tied, Addy. So I have a feeling I know what my girls are gonna be doing the rest of the evening, but I want to see what else is in the box. So let's see if we can peek inside and see what other fun things Mattel sent us. And look at all the Barbie stuff we got. Whoa, that's cool. I love this one, it looks so cute. Look at this! Oh wow, it looks like a bake set she has. It looks like a waffle maker or maybe a toast maker. Hmm, that looks good. And then this is another like cake decorating set it looks like. We have the oven here. That looks like a fun one. Oh, we have Maya. This. What's that one? Um, it was like a Barbie um, maker drink. A Barbie maker drink? I like the way you described that. <laughs> oh yeah, it looks like she makes smoothies. That looks look delicious. At the 
Wait, oh, these are all the different sets you can collect? Yeah. So fun. Cupcake decorating set. I think one's for me and one's for Addy. Is that how it works, you think? One for you and one for Addy? Hmm. You know what I think? I think these are gonna be videos for Tic Tac Toy to use at toy school instead. Maybe not for Maya and Addy to open. What do you think about that? No. No? You think they're all for you? Mm hmm. Mmm. Well, how about this? We'll probably use them in some toy school videos, but we usually open them videos and that means you get to play with them. That's not like a good idea? Yeah! <laughs> And what is that, Maya? It's like a pinata, but it, it's so heavy. It is a pinata, I think. Let's take that out to the backyard and see if we can open it up later. All right, girls, I want to take the pinata outside and see what's inside. Who's down? Yeah! Yeah. I have a feeling this is Mattel stuff from Target, like little stuff, so I think we're supposed to pull it. I've never seen a boy in Chantamol. This must be a oh, new yeah. one. This, is, this is adorable. A coffee cup teether. This is cute. Okay, these are hilarious. Yeah, I, I, I know how to control them. You're gonna do Can that? Okay. Yeah. I'm ready. Okay, let's see. <laughs> Thanks so much for all the toys, Mattel. Yes, we definitely owe them a thank you because this is a lot of good toys. So yes, thank you so much, Mattel, for sending this to us. We are so excited to have all these fun new toys to play with. It's a sparkly bone. And we can at ya. <laughs> we can at ya again. <laughs> I think I like these things too much. Ah, you like them too, Sandy. <laughs> Sandy, you're a ridiculous dog. <laughs>